we'll continue with the differentiation of our implicit functions now the question is x raised to 7 into y raised to 5 is equal to x plus y raised to 12 the first step we need to do is we need to take log on both the sides so taking log on both the sides i'll get log of x raised to 7 into y raised to 5 is equal to log of x plus y raised to 12 now remember the property of log log of a into b is log a plus log b so our question will become log of x raised to 7 plus log of y raised to 5 is equal to log of x plus y raised to 12 now in log whatever the term is in the power that comes into multiplication so our statement will be 7 log x plus 5 log y is equal to 12 log x plus y now that we have simplified the terms we can take derivative on both the sides 7 remains as it is derivative of log x is 1 by x plus 5 remains as it is derivative of log y is 1 by y as it is the derivative of function of y the extra term will be dy by dx is equal to 12 remains as it is derivative of log x plus y is 1 upon x plus y into derivative of x plus y by chain rule so what is derivative of x it's 1 and derivative of y is dy by dx now we have two terms which have dy by dx in them so taking those two terms on the left hand side and the remaining terms on the right hand side i'll get the following equation now i'll take dy by dx common now we have two fractions on both the sides we'll cross multiply them and simplify them after simplifying the numerator of both the terms on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side is same so we can cancel them out as well as in the denominator the bracket x plus y is same so we can cancel that out as well so final answer for the value of dy by dx will be equal to y by x you can try these questions on your own now let's look at some more complicated questions sec of x raised to 5 plus y raised to 5 upon x raised to 5 minus y raised to 5 is equal to a square now the left hand side of this term is quite complicated whereas the right hand side is a simple term a square remember a is a constant so a square will also be a constant term now what we can do is we can try and push some terms from the left hand side to the right hand side for example i can take sec on the right hand side which will become sec inverse of a square on the right hand side the term still does not contain any variable x or y so it is still a constant term and the derivative of that constant term will be zero now there are two ways of solving this question the first way is directly taking derivative on both the sides on the left hand side we'll apply u by v rule whereas on the right hand side we'll get the derivative as zero as it is a constant term now as the left hand side is still complicated the answer might be difficult to get we have a second option that is a little lengthy but quite easy applying component to dividendo to remember what is component to dividendo if the ratio is a by b by component to dividendo the ratio becomes a plus b upon a minus b so applying component to dividendo to our question we will get 2x raised to 5 upon 2y raised to 5 on the left hand side whereas the right hand side looks even more complicated now but remember there is still no variable in the right hand side no x or y hence we can assume it to be a constant term we'll assume it to be k for now we can cancel out 2 on the left hand side and we can take fifth root so i'll get x by y is equal to fifth root of k now we can differentiate both the sides now taking u by v rule will be quite easy because there are simple terms on the left hand side so we'll differentiate both the sides the derivative of right hand side will be zero cross multiplying y square what we'll get is dy by dx is equal to y by x you can even try out the first option and in the end you should get the same answer now let's look at a similar question we have tan inverse of 3x square minus 4y square upon 3x square plus 4y square is equal to a square 
Now the function tan inverse can be taken to the right hand side, so that will become tan a square. Now again applying component to dividendo and simplifying the right hand side will remain a constant term. I will get 6x square minus 8y square is equal to k. Remember the right hand side is a constant term. Now I can push the constants on the right hand side as well and then take square root of that term. There is still no trace of x or y on the right hand side hence the derivative will still be equal to 0. Now differentiating both the sides just as in the case of previous question I will get the same answer for the dy by dx as y by x. Now you can try out these questions on your own.